Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you about the different methods for mixing cob. So we have a list here of different methods for making big batches of cob. Well, from small to big. So, starting off with the tarp method. This is the most rudimentary, low-tech way of mixing cob. There's other ways, but this is a good method that I teach people when they first get started. And you basically lay a tarp out on the ground. You put the materials down on the tarp and you mix your material with the tarp and make small batches of cob one at a time. So if you want to upgrade to machinery, the next level up is to use a mortar mixer. Now a mortar mixer is different from a concrete mixer. There's an important distinction there. A concrete mixer is just a round barrel that spins and turns the material over and over. It doesn't work for mixing cob because cob is too thick. It doesn't have a lot of water in the material and so it can't just churn and slosh on top of itself like concrete does. A mortar mixer is a barrel similar but in the middle it has an axle with these metal paddles that come off of it and the metal paddles in the mortar mixer actually smear against the side of the barrel. So the mortar mixer is smearing the material together uh, much like how your feet smear the material together with the tarp method. So a mortar mixer is really good if you have a small group of anywhere from 2 to 20 people even. It'll speed up your process a lot. Just make sure you get the the most powerful mortar mixer you can because sometimes they do get clogged up with the thick earth material. So get a gas powered big mortar mixer if you can find that. Alright so the next level up this is kind of like the premier option for cob mixing. It's also probably one of the most expensive though depending on what kind of equipment and setup you want. And this is to use a skid steer or a tractor. So with a skid steer or a tractor you have a drivable machine unit that has some kind of a bucket on the front and this bucket is what you're going to be using to mix your cob with. So instead of using your feet to smear and smash the material together you're going to operate this bucket and you're going to smear the material pick it up, drop it, smear it. You're kind of using this as like a big foot to smear and mash the material and to turn itself over on itself. And so um, you can use a tractor, kind of similar build to this little miniature, or a skid steer. The skid steer is the better option because it's a lot more mobile and dynamic and how it moves. Um, but you can make big batches of cob with either of these. You can mix for about an hour and make a big batch of cob that can probably last your whole team at least a day, a day's worth of work. Um, so you definitely save a lot of time if you have one of these machines. Um, one pro tip with this, if you want to mix with these machines, the best way to do it is to mix on top of a clean concrete pad so that could add more expense to your project but it does produce the highest quality cob um, at the highest rate so if you really want to go with this method it's good to have a concrete slab that you can mix on and then one of these machines oh, another benefit to this is you can actually you can mix your cob Go take a big scoop of it and then drive over to your wall and actually dump it right on top of your wall and then form it right in place. So the next option is the backhoe. The backhoe is good, it's actually very good, but it's an even bigger machine in a lot of cases. You can find small backhoes, they work well as too as well. Um, but what you're gonna do with the backhoe is you're gonna dig a pit and you're going to put all your cob materials into this pit and then 
the back. So a backhoe has a scoop that comes off the back. It looks kind of like a, a claw shovel. And you're going to put that backhoe scoop into the hole and you're going to almost like stir up the material inside of the hole with the backhoe scoop. And so this can make really big batches of cob at high speed. Um, the disadvantage I'd say is that you mix in material from the sides of the hole and so sometimes that can that can uh, make your cob a little bit more dirty. Um, but the backhoe does work really well. It's been used on a lot of very large cob projects successfully. But these are the main options for cob mixing. So you can go from very low tech to very high tech, somewhere in between. This is always good for a more low budget, smaller project. Um, especially if you have a lot of people. Again, even the tarp method, this works really well, especially on smaller projects. And if you have a lot of people, it actually does produce cob, very high quality cob at a pretty good rate if you have enough people. So if you guys have any questions on cob mixing methods or machinery that you can use to make cob, um, leave your questions or comments down below and click the like button on this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates and I'll be putting out more educational videos like this soon. Thanks for watching.